Okay, welcome back to part two of the unboxing review of the Dragon Ball RTA vape tank. So yeah, I don't know why, but this one doesn't have a good tight seal or fit on there. I mean, this one, super duper tight. So, not really sure about that. Because on the website, it didn't say anything that it came with. But I asked one of these, and I don't even think on the box to say anything. Yeah, doesn't say anything on the box, but there is, you know, the website. It's kind of odd. There is no instructions in here. Because usually they'll have like a little piece of paper. they like, oh, okay, so that's what I got to do. That's what I'm doing one, or that's how I do it. Like, guess they figure it should be, you know, super duper simple and easy. Instructions just put it right on the inside wrap of the box there. But yeah, I'm not really sure what that is for. I guess maybe you could use it like that to hold your tank. Maybe it's a tank stand. Because, like I said, it doesn't have a tight seal on here. I mean, like this one is small, it has a little rubber O wings. So it's a tight seal, but this one, no. I mean, yeah, see? So I'm not exactly 100% sure because there is no freaking instructions anywhere on this. Maybe on the website, I'm guessing. But I'm just kind of going here half blind with this, you know? So if I'm like, oh, hey, I forgot to do that, okay. So, you do get different size O-wings, some very, very small, thin ones, and then some good fit ones. Now, what's weird on here is some things that they're saying back here. Like, I know you can't really say that good. But, uh, here they said that there's a screwdriver. And yet, we get a little Allen wrench key. The cotton, we do get the cotton. Um, to me, it does look like the Japanese style cotton. Where you have like that little piece of hair they got pull off of it. At the top and bottom. Yeah. Like, see what I mean with this little piece of paper right here? So, it does look like Japanese organic cotton. Although, I'm not seeing a bottom sheet of paper, so, there's that. Also, they said that there is supposed to be five screws. I'm not seeing five screws in here. Because if we open up this little accessory pack, so which way is the little stick there that's sealing this? I'm going to try pouring it out into my hand without getting it all messy and stuff and losing all the tiny little pieces. So yeah, they said that there's five screws. All I'm seeing is four little screws here, as you can see. And then we get S replacement 510 connection pen. So man, those are the five screws, four little ones, one big 510 connection pin. That's the way how I'm taking it as, because that's what I'm seeing here. But the box just shows screws, five X, so screws times five. Now we're saying, oh, you get four little screws, you know, to screw down and cramp in your coils. And you get, okay, one bid ester spear, you know. 510 connection pen. Now here's something else. They said you get four coils in there. And if we let this. We actually got two different size coils right here. So yeah. 
we have these little tiny coils and then we got these bit old coils right here so I'm not really sure what type of coil I'm going to be using I know I'm used to using these little teeny tiny coils but these bit old fat boys here and again just size wise you can see yeah big coils small coils you do get two of each so they do give you four coils I'm going to go ahead and try the big coils because usually with my RDAs, RTAs, I always use small coils, but this time I'm going to step it up and try using a big coil. Still not sure about this. That's a drip piece. Has bottom airflow slots on both sides. And there's the 510 connection pin. To me, it just looks like you could change it out from a silver pen to a gold pen. That's just what it kind of looks like to me. Or maybe it's a spear. It's nice that it does say designed by Fum Fumita RTA Dragon Ball DB 09105 is the serial number on this one. So that's nice. And even over here it says Dragon Ball. So I guess this is how it just comes out of the bottom like this. That's how you tear apart the tank from the deck. I don't really like that design. I'm not really sure how you take this apart to get that black metal off. To place the nuts tank on there. The little spare glass. Not really sure. And you really can't clean the glass because of this metal in there. See how it's all in there machine. But what's odd is you fill the tank up, all the juice is swashed around the inside of the tank, but then it goes through all these little portholes here. Is where the juice is going to be coming in from these portholes right down there, dripping on and into your coils, and then your coil is going to take it from the cotton, the coil heat it up, and send it right back through that little middle chimney there. That is kind of a funneled, kind of like a little cave bell type funnel, as you can see. Hope you can see it that good, because I know on camera it doesn't really show up that quick. Let's take a look at our deck. There is a little bit of gnarling around here, but not that much that you could really feel to change the airflow. And the airflow does seem to be very, very, very tight. Like, this is wide open. Now it's closed, wide open. So let me do this a couple times to try to loosen it up. I'm just going to keep it wide open for right now, doing the build. So it looks like they go in down there and stuff. They are in there very, very tight. You do have like some side airflow from right there as you can see and over there and then of course so the air is going to come in through the slot come up through here uh, let me see if I can grab a toothpick to make it a little bit easier for you to see what's going on so it's going to uh, come in through here then it's going to come up through here after it comes up for there, it's going to go and whip from here, kind of go in here, and then it's going to heat up and then come straight up like that. So, yeah. Alright. Now, I know a lot of you vapors out there, and especially vape YouTube channels, are all kind of panty and uproar and stuff about the whole illiterate flavor vape juice type band that you know President Trump is always starting I'm gonna tell you not to BS off okay why I'm saying this piece this stuff is BS and not to off lots of reasons okay no one we mounted the whole solar pop tats height that we had what do we have for like 
two and a half, three months after that, they didn't charge the tax on pop again, right? So yeah, I say it's going to be something like that. Well, yes, but it's going to be banned for like maybe two and a half, three months tops. But then all these stupid anti-vaping ad commercials and stuff are going to see, oh man, they should have kept their mouth shut. Reason why? Because people is going to go back to smoking those nasty, dirty, over 4,000 chemical cigarettes that has ammonia in there. And you know where ammonia is found? It's found in freaking cat urine. Yeah, cat urine has ammonia, and cigarettes have ammonia in there. That's just one of the known 400 chemicals that's in cigarettes. So yeah, do you think cigarettes are better than vaping after, you know, 400 plus chemicals, including ammonia, which comes from cat urine? Yeah, feel about that anti-vaping ad. Then you're going to have people just going to go back to smoking cigars, pipes, uh, what else? Two, dip, I don't have, you know, a can of dip on me, because I'm not really a dipper, so I don't, you know, do like Kodiak, Grizzly, you know, any of those type of dips. If you're going back to, you know, Campbell Sons, uh, what else? Hitting the barn, hitting a hookah, um, doing some snuff. And yes, this is legal snuff, as you can kind of see in there. It's brown, so tobacco. But I mean, yeah, that's going to be BS. And after like, we don't know the full research and studies of what effects vaping has on people. You know what? Stop putting your money on these anti-vaping ads and put the money towards the actual research. Show me the mother effing charts and graphs of the research.